Okay, just for a quick recap, this is a very quick diagram of a 15-dimensional matrix. All right, have dimensions 1 through 3, 4 through 5, 4, 5, and 6, actually, 7, 8, and 9, 10 through 12, and 13 through 15. All right, the only thing we need to know for this discussion this evening is that each group of three dimensions creates something called a harmonic universe and reality fields take place within that harmonic universe. Now, right now, our Earth is positioned in what is called Harmonic Universe 1. It's composed of the frequency patterns of dimensions 1, 2, and 3. When we speak of our origins as beginning on Tara, all those many years ago, we're talking about Harmonic Universe 2, which is the reality field that takes place in dimensions 4, 5, and 6. It's a higher vibrating universe than what we're in right now. What we are going to get into tonight is what our relationship is to that planet Terra that's in the second harmonic universe and how our planet Earth ended up down here in the first place. For we need to understand those things if we are going to understand the significance of certain other material. The material this will lead into tonight is called something the secrets of Amenti. The secrets of Amenti go way back through our history, through the Egyptian period, but even further back than that. And many people at different times were aware of something called the halls of Amenti, but very few people knew what they were or what they represented. They just knew they were, they were very secret and they were guarded within the metaphysical traditions of many different philosophies, but nobody knew what they were or why they were important. In understanding our relationship between Tara and Earth, we'll be able to begin to understand what the halls of Amenti represent. And in order to understand the significance of the information I was just given, it's going to be important to know what Amenti represents. Now, I will, I will let the cat out of the bag in the beginning of the discussion, and then I will lead you back through a trail of why this is important and what it means to us today. I was told several days ago that something called the Ark of the Covenant had sparked. And I said, what is that? <laughs> and what does that mean? Because my communicators seemed very, very excited about this. And it meant nothing to me on a conscious level. So I asked them to explain it to me, and, and they did. They put a whole new chapter in my book and explained to me things that some ancient part of me knew that I didn't know. So we're dealing with the reality today of something called the Ark of the Covenant, whatever that is, having sparked whatever that means. By the end of this discussion, we should be able to...